All right, so in case you are not here on the 23rd or 24th, this is what you missed in class. So we started with an activity talking about the Nuremberg Laws of 1935, saying these laws embodied many of the racial theories underpinning Nazi ideology. They would provide the legal framework for the systematic persecution of Jews in Germany. So these are basically the laws that will allow the Germans and the Nazis to legally persecute the Jews. Um, so I want you to think about this law. Any person with one drop of Jewish blood was legally Jewish and cannot marry an Aryan person. This is an example of one of the laws. So what I want you to think about, and don't look ahead, is do you think America has ever had a similar law? So do you think America has ever had a law that said, if you have a drop of one type of blood, you can't marry a white person? So the answer to that question um, is yes, America did invent this law. This, I actually reworded the real version of this law said, if any person has a drop of black blood or African-American blood, they were legally black and could not marry a white person. Now, some of you might not, these laws were common in America in the 1800s and 1900s, um, and it would make them uh, subject to segregation laws. And when do you think these laws were finally overturned? So a lot of these laws are not really going to be fully overturned until 1967. So your parents might have been alive in that time. Probably not, but they might have been alive. That is when they finally legalized um, marriage between black and white people nationwide. So why am I bringing this up? Because I did read this really good book. Um, you can listen to the podcast for it about Hitler's American model. Um, it is basically saying how Hitler based a lot of his laws uh, to persecute the Jews on American law that we use to persecute Black people. So what does that mean? So it's hard to completely create new laws from scratch. So Hitler tried to look for a racist law system anywhere in the world. And what he came upon was the Jim Crow system in America that had all these laws discriminating against black people and making it legal. The only difference is those laws actually were harsher than the laws that Hitler will put in against the Jewish people. They're gonna be harsher than those Nuremberg laws. Now we did not send black people to concentration camps, things like that, but I'm just talking about those initial Nuremberg laws at first were more harsh than the Jim Crow laws. So after you do that, um, I do want you reading this article right here and picking out the most striking fact or interesting fact to you and putting it on this Padlet. So if you were not here, then you can skip this part, but still read the article. Next, we did watch a video about the rise of the Nazi party, and there are video questions that we went over. What we would do next is we are going to read a document that I have here about the National Socialist German Workers Party. I'll give you some time to go over it and answer these questions. Then we are gonna do a short kahoot based on them. All right, so it's basically true or false questions. So you will skip the kahoot, but what did the Nazis believe? Is this true or false? And the last thing we did for the day is gonna be a Hitler in power article. So you are reading that article and answering two questions. All right, and then at the end of the day, you will have an exit ticket.